On the Fop Select 4.2, there is a built-in blind hem stitch and it comes with a blind hem foot. Now, part of it is how you set up the foot with this little red marker that's adjustable. And next, it's how do you fold your fabric to get the stitch to stitch where you want it. So let's start off with the fabric. Let's say you've got a new hem that you're putting in. And so what you wanna do is fold that up and give it a good press. That is the final hem that you're working with. Then next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll the fabric back on that hem. So see where the hem is? It's back here. And I need just kind of this little lip sticking out. So the goal is that when we stitch, here I'll get, show you a little bit, I was just testing out, that, that when you stitch, the bite goes to the left and it is gonna catch just the little bit of this fold. And that's what you wanna get lined up. So I've got the stitch H selected. We are using the top row. So we do have a stitch length somewhere between one and a half to two. Just depends on how, what distance you want these little bites to be. So if you want it a little longer, just make your stitch length a little bit to a larger number. Next, you will need to adjust this guide. So when you practice, what you're looking for is that when you put the, the, the fold next to this little red guide, that your needle is gonna just barely kiss or come into the fold of the fabric. I do have this stitch width all the way up to five, and I can even just do a little test. So when I sink that needle down, I can see if I'm close or not. And then when I guide it, once you're all set, you're just guiding it the fold with the foot, it's that easy. Now this foot d does have the opening for the IDT, so do make sure that that has been engaged. And obviously we're using really dark thread, so you're gonna see this stitch when I actually take it out to the, and show you. But if I had had cream colored thread, you will definitely see, well, it will be blind, you wouldn't see it at all. So what you're looking for that's what it's gonna look like here. And then you're looking for the little tick marks on this side. Your key is that you want them to look consistent. And when you flatten that out and press it, oh my goodness, how nice is it to do it on your own machine and not have to do it by hand? So many people don't know how to do this stitch, so they're sitting there by hand and look, you're already done. So again, matching your thread and finding where you can take the smallest bite into your fabric to have it show the least on this side.